sad day for me. I decided to list my Traeger up for sale. And uh, within an hour, I had a full price offer. So, they'll be here in about 20 minutes to pick it up. Had some good cooks on this thing. Oh well. On to bigger and better things. Regulators! Mount up! Every single day I'm gonna make something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make RT700 with the competition cart. Now I'm going to tell you why I went with this instead of a new Traeger. But first, Cheers. Uh, vitamin R. Well, today I'm going to talk about why I purchased the uh, Rectech Bull RT700. It's not because it's an R, but that might have something to do with it. R Shack, Rectech, Rainier. <laughs> well, let's first talk about this. I was. Uh, most of you know I had a uh, Traeger Big Tex. I uh, purchased it in 2013 and have done many, many cooks on it. And I have enjoyed that pellet grill. No complaints whatsoever with it. I bought the uh, fold up shelf, I bought extra shelf for the inside, bought the cover, you know, I went all out on it. Um, used it, uh, moved it quite a few times between my uh, those five years. Used it at different cooks. Always felt like the legs were a little unstable. So I bought the bottom shelf, put that on, that kind of secured everything up. Um, never had an issue with it. 20 pound hopper, eh, it would be nice if it was bigger, but it, it was suffice. Just monitored it. Um, Briskets came out great, ribs come out great, chicken comes out great, steaks come out great, burgers, anything you throw at it, it did great. I never had one issue with it. And then I decided I was gonna look at a new grill. Uh, after five years, figured it was time. So I started looking at the new Traegers um, and uh, part of many Traeger groups seeing people's feedback on them and stuff. I'd always heard of the Red Rectech. Um, back when I bought my Traeger, Rectech was out there, uh, and I'll be honest, I thought uh, their, one of their owners was 
a used car salesman is the easiest way that I put it and find out he used to sell cars. Um, so I was a little, little, you know, I don't, can't say I was turned off by that, but I thought, well, Traeger's a little local, more local, I'll go with them uh, here in the Pacific Northwest. So I went with Traeger. Um, and uh, I'll never have anything bad to say about Traeger. Uh, but when I was looking at a new one, there were things that I definitely wanted in a grill. And I'll tell you what this one has. Okay, so where do I start? When I was looking for a new pellet grill, what I wanted was more pellet uh, hopper size. That was one thing. Um, wanted a PID, PID controller and then I wanted to have something that heated up quickly and I wanted something that maintained temp really well. Uh, the Rectech has all that. Once it's set, it stays there which is pretty impressive. It sounds like it, there's very little swing in the uh, temperature. Um, of course, if you open the door and things like that, you're gonna affect uh, how it does the lid. You know, it'll let air in and it'll do different uh, temperature swings, but then it always stabilizes and goes back. Uh, another big thing is all the important components are the stainless steel, which is very big. You're, heat deflector, stainless steel, your grease trays, stainless steel, your grates, stainless steel. Uh, very important there. Um, you get prevent rust that way. Um, the beautiful black porcelain smooth finish is just gorgeous. And then the competition cart. Heavy duty, makes it so I can move it around in and out of my trailers. Uh, is awesome. I can't wait to really test that out. Um, yeah, there's other ones out there. You got Yoder, you got all those other ones. Uh, Price-wise, this, a little more than a Traeger uh, for the basic. Uh, I don't know what their new ironwood was, um, but it's brand new. So I tend to lean away from brand new technology. I like to, to let the bugs be worked out of it get the second edition if you want to call it um, before I go and uh, spend that kind of money. Um, I don't want to be a test dummy. Um, you know and they didn't in increase the pellet capacity on the Traeger uh, either. It's still at 20 pounds basically. Uh, they're nice looking grills. I will never ever say anything bad about them. I just when I did my research at the price point that I was looking at, this met all, everything that I wanted. Uh, and I can't wait to open it up and get into it. I think it's gonna be an awesome pellet grill uh, and will fit in greatly with my other grills that I have. And, you know, as like I said, as I'm gonna be growing and experimenting, I think this will be one of the last ones. One of the other big things that really made me go with Rectech is you still have to buy them from the company. You get the owner's personal cell phone number. If you have any issues, you call them directly. Their customer service so far, talking with them has been awesome. Uh, they actually called me and left a message with their personal number saying, hey, uh, give us a call. Because uh, I had ordered something and they wanted to make sure it was what I wanted. Uh, which I really appreciate that they took the time to do that to make sure it's exactly what I wanted and uh, I wasn't ordering double on something. Um, so that impressed me. Uh, we'll, we'll be talking with them some more uh, and seeing how, uh, how well their customer service is as I find things that I may want to order as well. So that is the real reasons, main reasons why I went with Rectech this time um, I think it's quality wise is a little better than uh, what I call the mass-produced ones right now uh, even though 
this is still made in China. Uh, it still has Rectech standards that it has to meet, uh, which is impressive. I'm sure all the other ones have it too, but th they haven't they haven't deviated from their initial uh, company concept on what they were looking at for as a pellet grill. Uh, they haven't sacrificed to cut corners or anything. In fact, they've always tried to improve. They want to get better. Um, so that's really impressive. Uh, you know, at this point, all that's left to do is start cutting open up the boxes and seeing what this thing looks like inside. So, yeah, let's have some fun. Cheers, everybody. Nice big casters with easy lock. Nice stainless steel front shelf. One of the things I really like about this is on the bucket. I made it so it's a clip. This is not going to fall off of there. Put a liner in it. Come around the back here. And you can see how the hopper is designed funnel down in. Let's take a look at the hopper. You got a divider in there so you can run two different flavors and they'll meet down the bottom and fuse and go in and cook. Science and engineering. Both I don't know a thing about. But this hopper forty pounds worth of pellets fit in this puppy. Come around to the front here. Nice stainless steel. Let's open it up. Right away you know this stainless steel heavy duty grates. Stainless steel grease pan. Stainless steel heat diffuser. Stainless steel cooking chamber. Unbelievable. Oh and it's got a light. Very nice. Come around to the controller. Turn it on. One touch. And she's going. Now it'll start out at whatever temperature you had her at the last time you shut her down. The only thing that I'm wondering about is if I'm going to be able to see this at night time. We'll have to test that out, see if we can see that at night. Dual ports for probes. You have an extreme uh, smoke setting uh, that you can produce more smoke. Ideally, they say to do that only under 250 degrees. And it comes with two probes. She's almost too pretty to cook in. Now I just got to come up for a name for her. pizza's been on for the 18 minutes. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's take her in and cut her up. Canadian bacon.
pineapple, onions, black olives on half. The way a pizza should be. Mm. And wood fired grill. This is going to be good. Can you tell I worked at a pizza place at one time? Well, I actually worked at three different ones, but mm, never Papa Murphy's though. Okay, this was the first cook on the uh, Rectech RT700 Bull, which I named Stanley. So whenever I refer to Stanley, you'll know what I'm talking to. So for the first cook, we did a Papa Murphy's pizza. Mm. Let's take a big old bite of this. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. That is dang good. Really good. Mm. Anyhow, thank you for sticking around and watching this cook. As I always say, you can do this too. Grill on.